Hey, Lon Seibin here with LonReviewsTech.com. Today we're taking a look at the Blackmagic Intensity Extreme. This is a device that takes video and outputs it via Thunderbolt to your Mac or Thunderbolt equipped PC. And it does that by taking HDMI video as well as analog video and running it uh, through your Thunderbolt adapter. And let's take a look at the back of the device. It's uh, like most of their products, it's very well built. It's a solid block of aluminum and uh, it's pretty simple and just like a lot of the things that I've been using from Blackmagic uh, there's not much to them so we have the Thunderbolt connector here and note that the cable doesn't come with it so you need to buy that separately that's a little extra uh, you have your HDMI in so this will take uh, pretty much any HDMI source and it's pretty flexible in what it can take we just have to make sure you configure uh, the computer side of it properly to take that signal and I'll tell you about that in a second uh, it also has HDMI out and what this will let you do is is play back recorded footage that you um, took with the included software out to a monitor or to a recorder or another device but it also will will basically pass through the HDMI signal so if you're recording or streaming HDMI live to your computer uh, you can also take that HDMI HDMI out, plug it into a recorder or to a monitor. So it's great if you're streaming and you want to record at the same time. In fact, I think you could probably uh, use two of these at the same time if you have two Thunderbolt ports. Uh, you'll note that it doesn't have a pass-through though, so just bear that in mind. And it also has another spot here for what's called breakout, and this is uh, a cable that comes with the unit uh, that has a whole bunch of different video options. So you can plug in component video, like from your uh, um, GameCube or your old uh, PlayStation 2. Uh, you can take analog video, so you can plug in your, uh, you know, the RCA cables, just the composite video, so you can take your Nintendo and old, old game consoles there, even your old VCR, so a great way to get your VHS uh, archived. And it also has outputs uh, for audio and some other stuff too, so it's a pretty, uh, pretty flexible device. And that's pretty much it. The only thing to bear in mind is that it does get a little hot, and, it, and because it gets hot, uh, they built in a fan, and the fan starts running when you're really working the unit hard. And you just need to be mindful of that if you're trying to keep a quiet studio for doing some kind of studio work. If you're like me and you're using a lot of streaming applications, you probably don't want to rely on the, the lousy little camera that's built into most laptops. And the nice thing about uh, the Intensity Extreme is that it does allow you to stream content to the web. Uh, it is a bit of a, of a variety of, of compatibility, and Blackmagic doesn't guarantee compatibility with a lot of applications, just a few that uh, have been certified by sp specific third parties. So the Adobe Flash Media Encoder is one that works with it. Uh, Google Hangouts does work, but not all the way, and I'll show you uh, how I use the Google Hangouts system with, uh, with this. So we're going to switch over to my Hangout window again here. And as you click Settings and you go to select your camera, you'll notice there's a whole bunch of different options. And uh, you have to kind of know what you're outputting to uh, get this to work properly. But if I select the 1080i at 59.94, you'll see that it is switching back to my uh, uh, what's outputting from my switcher, which is running through the Blackmagic Intensity right now. So it's got a lot of flexibility for doing web streaming. The only problem with the Google Hangouts is that it doesn't pick up the audio. So you have to get the audio out of the HDMI some other way. You can do that uh, through the box. Um, there's that breakout cable that will do the analog audio out. Uh, you can also grab it off of that uh, second HDMI stream as well. So there's ways to, to be able to kind of deal with that limitation. I did ask Blackmagic about it. They said they don't support Google Hangouts. Um, but if you can get it to work, uh, great. <laughs> so uh, just bear that in mind. One last thing to show you is the software that's built into it, and uh, we'll take a look at that right now. The Intensity Extreme comes with an entire software suite for recording the video that comes off the device, and Media Express is what you'll be using for that. And it gives you a whole bunch of options here for uh, video encoding. And uh, you probably want to stick to the ProRes 422 format because that will go right into Final Cut without any kind of rendering. Uh, but it also does full uncompressed video. And you want to make sure, though, that your disk speed is fast enough for that task. And thankfully, they give you a speed test here uh, to be able to make sure that you can get that video speed that you need to not have any drop frames during the recording process. So that's it for the Blackmagic Intensity Extreme. It's a pretty flexible device. I found it to work quite well if you can live with some of the uh, little uncertainties regarding streaming. So you just want to test it out a little bit and maybe do some troubleshooting to get that to work. But it doesn't require any power, so it just gets powered from uh, your MacBook or your Windows PC on its own. And uh, it does a great job of recording video from an HDMI source. And I have to say, I highly recommend it. And uh, just like all of Blackmagic's products, it's pretty reasonably priced, too, for the capabilities that it brings you. I'm Lon Seibin, and this is LonReviewsTech.com. Thanks for watching.